Hey saints, I pray you're all doing well. I pray the most I continue to bless you, guide you, and protect you and your beautiful loved ones in your going out and your coming in. Amen. All right, so this video, I'm about to expose the real truth behind how they are tracking you. I've done videos in the past where, yes, believe it or not, in the comments, people, some people do not believe the extent at which we are being tracked and followed and studied and all our information being sold out. They are selling, they've been selling us out right this is not today this is not yesterday this has been happening for decades all right so i don't think we need to go any more in depth after showing you all this video because he's done done it to the t right and um i just want you all to know this is why i say when it comes to that time to run you have to leave those phones behind. That is why also I said who is with you is with you. Who is not with you just will not be with you. All right. So it's important that you share information with your family, extended family, family that is far away. That listen, when this happens, this is where we're going to go. You have to have a game plan. You have to have an emergency plan. I'm also going to do a video separate for that, an emergency plan video. All right? So watch this video. Take heed, listen, filter with the Holy Spirit, and share it. All right? I love you. The Lord loves you. I pray that his spirit goes with you wherever you go. I pray that his face shines on you and that he gives you his peace. We know that Google is tracking us. We agree to it when we set up our phones. So we wanted to figure out what exactly Google is learning about us throughout the day. So here's what we're going to do. We have two identical phones. The only difference between these two phones is this one is in airplane mode. Both of the phones lack a SIM card, and they haven't been set up to access any Wi-Fi networks. So for all intents and purposes, these phones have no connection to a data network. We're going to keep them with us throughout the day. And while I travel around D.C., we're going to figure out just what Google is finding out about me. Our first stop, Sims Convenience Store, just outside our Fox Bureau, for a quick coffee. From there, we took a walk to the Capitol and took a quick walk around the Senate office buildings and then decided to hop in a car and head around town. Hello. We're going to the Children's Hospital, please. To run our tests, we had to do more than walk the block, so we took a tour around our nation's capital. First, due north to the Children's National Medical Center Hospital, then west to St. Albans School and the National Cathedral. Our tour around town was a 14-mile journey that lasted more than an hour. The entire time, the phones had no access to the Internet. Oh, my goodness. Not a Wi-Fi connection and not any cellular data service. It almost seemed quaint to assume that Google wouldn't even be able to collect data on me. Let's head back to the bureau, my friend. Oh, that church is beautiful. Google's business model is simple. Collect data on its users and then use that data to sell targeted ads. It's a business model called surveillance capitalism. But does that critical data collection work even when your phones aren't connected? So we're back here at our Fox Bureau in D.C., and we've got both of our phones exactly how we left with them. The only difference, really, I snapped a couple of bad selfies at the National Cathedral. <laughs> but otherwise, they have stayed in my pocket for the entire day. So let's find out what they know. This is our man-in-the-middle device. It's basically a Wi-Fi network that these phones are going to connect to once we turn their Wi-Fi on. It's going to pass data through it on the way to Google, but on the way, we're actually going to get a copy of the same data that Google's going to get. We'll be able to decrypt it and then find out where we've been throughout the day. 
Within minutes, the numbers rolled in. The phone that wasn't on airplane mode registered more than 100 locations, 130 activities, and even 152 barometric readings. As soon as it hooked up to our Wi-Fi, it transmitted 300 kilobytes of data straight to Google. The phone even logged our exact locations, tracking us all around town, the Capitol, the hospital, the school, and the cathedral. Now, you may notice what's missing here is the exact route that we took, but it got that data, too. It knows when I got out of the car. The metadata has a time log down to the very second, tracking everything when they think that you're walking, riding, and yes, even getting out of the car. Okay, so you're thinking, this isn't a big deal. I'll just put my phone in airplane mode. Yeah, we thought of that, too. This is the other phone that we had with us that no SIM card also remained in airplane mode the entire time. Let's see what kind of data it captured. The phone with airplane mode activated actually logged more locations and activities than the other phone, and it also transferred hundreds of kilobytes of data to Google as soon as it was activated. The only thing that's missing from this map is our stop at the Children's Hospital, but it still knows we were there. There it is. Exiting vehicle, 100% accuracy. Through complicated user agreements and free software, Google gets users to sign away their privacy for nothing. They're even following you in the places that most people would expect total privacy. Government buildings, a children's hospital, a private school, a church. Every move you make, every step you take, Google is watching you. All right, guys, so you've watched that video. I'm just coming back quickly to say check if you're subscribed to the channel. YouTube is the tube tube is unsubscribing people okay so you have to check that you're still subscribed i'm getting comments i did not get a notification even for my lives and then people realize that they were unsubscribed so check that you're subscribed if you're not already subscribed please join the grace fam we're happy to have you here all right press that red subscribe button and then press the bell for all notifications all right also i have a backup channel called grace and beyond I leave the links in the description below and in the pinned comments for all the links that you need for our group, for our community, that we need, you and I need each other along with the Holy Spirit, along with our beliefs and our faith right now. There's strength in numbers, people. There's strength in numbers. And we are doing everything we're doing in faith and believing that the Lord is on our side. Amen. And we have the victory. Amen, amen. So you guys take care. Bye.